What's up guys? I'm here at the uh, Nevada Museum of Art. It is closed right now, but I was downtown, you know, checking out some spots, enjoying this Indian summer. Um, I'm going to show you a couple pieces. I'm actually going to show you my favorite piece that's here in Reno. Um, let me get out of this sculpture, give you a better shot. This is not my favorite piece that I was talking about, but it's still still pretty cool. There's me bike. There's a little, I think this is just like a bench. It's a, it's a piece of sculpture, but it says inhale, exhale. Anyway, this is the piece right here. Oh, it's a beautiful piece. For those of you who have never been up close and seen this piece and uh, know what's so special about this piece, maybe... Uh, you on the video can figure out what's special about this, really special about this piece. To the naked eye and to the eye on this camera lens, looks like someone took a lot of time searching for some driftwood to put this horse together. And uh, I'm about to show you what is really special about this horse. I'm sure at one point in your time you've picked up some driftwood. I just have one question for you. Does Driftwood sound like this. I don't think so. So what you're looking at is a sculpture that's made out of bronze. lovely piece. Most, most sculptures that, start, that, that are bronze start out in wax. Then you build a cast over the pieces of wax. Then you melt the wax out of the mold and then you pour the bronze in the mold. Once the piece is poured into bronze, you're only halfway there. Because there's much cleanup to do. You have to clean out part pieces, little pieces of the cast. This piece obviously was constructed in different smaller pieces and welded together. They did a pretty good job welding it. I'm gonna give you the artist right now and give you a... Deborah Butterfield. So once you have it all poured, all the weld welded, cleaned up, usually have to sandblast it to get all the, the, the slurry, the cast, the particles out, um, weld it, like I said. Then you have to add a patina, which gives it the different colors and depth within every single section. 
You can see they took time, like right here, you can hardly tell that this piece was welded together. Only up close you can really get an idea of the work that was put into this piece. This piece is amazing. I kind of like to ride it. <laughs> I won't, but anyway. This is one of the things I'd like to get back into. I studied bronze for a year, and it seemed like that year went so fast. And I have a lot of ideas. So maybe in the future you'll be seeing me back in the shop doing some, some cool pieces, hopefully. Okay, thanks for watching guys.